the CT6 by Fairtech. It's in its uh, military Molly style bag. It's an NSN number on the front. Open this up. Reach in, pull the split out of the bag. Looks like everything is already attached. Snap together pretty nicely. Um, you can see the shield strap, which has got some elastic padding and a military spec Cobra buckle right here. The other end we have an ankle hitch, which is already attached. Um, ready to go. 4 to 1 pulley system on a swivel. So there's no way any of this can get tangled. Um, we'll go ahead and put the ankle hitch on first. You'll notice that um, one end you can slide so that it'll accommodate a large boot or a small pediatric and you can still get good alignment on both sides of the ankle. You can see here we have a smaller patient. So I'm going to move this anchor down so that it's even on both sides of the patient's foot so the traction is in straight alignment. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the strap around here. And tighten up the strap below the patient's foot, like so. And now we're going to go up to the ischial strap. And the leg. Snaps in, tighten it up. You can see it splints a little long here. We have a smaller patient, so we're going to go ahead and remove that from the ischial cap and break it down one section and replace it in the ischial cap. You can see it's a nice tight fitting cap here, so neither of these ends move very much. Um, now that I've got that in place, I can go ahead and start applying some traction on this end. Move the straps. We'll just slide these leg straps up. These are all attached already, so you don't have to worry about losing any of those. Tighten the ankle hitch up a little more. Um, to get traction, all you do is pull on this line. It's nice and smooth, precise traction, and lift it in place to lock it. There's a safety clip here you can slide down. So you don't have to worry about it. If it gets bumped, the traction stays in place. Once you've got there, that there, you can start applying the leg straps to uh, two below the knee and two above. You can see these go on pretty easily. So here on the CT6 by Fairtech, we're looking at the ischial strap. You'll notice a military spec Cobra buckle here that was uh, put in place on the product at the request of the military. One of the big reasons for that is that it cannot be easily released. Even if, if something's put on the patient or if it's knocked, um, it is not easily released at all. If you hit one of these clamps, it won't open. Um, it will open if you use two hands. And this is a buckle that they're used. the military guys are used to using. So um, the muscle memory is already in place for this to be opened and closed easily. Here we're looking at the carbon tubing of the CT6. This is centerless ground carbon fiber tubing. It has a nice coating of epoxy on it to prevent any splinters. Um, it also provides a nice grip so that the splint can be easily manipulated, pulled open and closed as needed. It can be cleaned with uh, pretty much any standard cleaning supplies that um, are typically in use by medics. 
Here we have a visual user guide. Um, this is included with every CT6. Um, the material it's made out of is waterproof and tear resistant. So the idea is that it's durable and it'll last a fair amount of time. Um, it's, the idea behind a visual user guide is that you don't necessarily have to re read every step to understand what it's trying to convey. You can see here a picture of the guy removing it from the bag. You can see here, here visually um, how the splint is supposed to go beyond the bottom of the patient's foot. Um, all the components are pictured right here. Step-by-step -step analysis um, that really explains easily in pictures. Um, so even if you speak another language and you open this up, you can still understand it.